everyone's John uh, playing here at Shannonville Golf Club. I think it's Upper Providence, Lower Providence. Um, it's a little cool out today. Move this cart, this uh, cart camera back a little bit. First hole, par four, a little dog leg right. Let me get down there. I forgot my microphone's at home. Recharged, sitting on my table. So anyway, par 72. Get at it. All right, should be okay down there. Not too bad, not terrible, but a little right. I actually left myself a pretty tough shot here. I'm going to try to go between these trees. Little punt. Eight iron. I'd like to hit the top of that hill. But we'll see. Oh no, I carried it too far. That was my fourth shot for five. Let me see if I can knock this out for a bogey and keep it going. Starting here with a six. Again, not ideal, but still out here playing golf. So that's a good thing. So here's the interesting thing about this course. Honestly, this course is difficult for one reason. There are very few holes that are actually straight. So it makes it difficult. A lot of left, a lot of right. There's really very few straight holes. So this one here is another par four. This is dog leg left. So there's a tree right here. I don't know if you can see that, but right there is like an evergreen tree. I'm gonna try to aim just right at that. See if I can sneak one around the corner. I lost that completely. No idea where that went. I'm gonna hit a provisional here. It felt good, but I couldn't see my eyes were terrible. Uh, that was perfect. That felt better, but so that second one there was a Titleist True Feel. The first one was a noodle. Get up there and peep it. See if I can find what. See where my shots were. So here we go. All right, so just to show you how bad my eyes are, tee box back there, right? Fairway, fairway, dog leg left, greens up there. It's my first drive. See here, look, it's a noodle. It's a noodle. My second drive, my provisional is actually up there a little bit. So probably about 40 yard difference, 30 yard, eh, 30 yard difference. Anyway, this course is amazing. No one out here really still pretty cold but uh again better than uh not being on the course so a couple of yards the wind's blowing a little bit 18 birdies we've got two four irons that's what i'm gonna do wind's blowing left to right i'm gonna start this a little bit left and let it funnel back in i got some baby wind i have a bunker shot 
see me on the back side, huh? Trying to hurry for no reason. I don't know why. Anyway, this the sand trap here is absolutely perfect. Sand all the way through. It's great. I got up and down. Dropped the stroke. That's the difference between shooting a 79 and an 80. Right there. Par three. So this hole here, there's a temporary green. Uh, it looks like they're working on the bunker complexes up there. These guys in front of me clearly don't understand that, but it happens. I don't know if you can hear me. So anyway, this is about a halfway shot. The hole's 170 to 157 yards from here, but it's about half that. So I'm going to play like an 89-yard shot, 80-90-yard shot. 56-degree wedge. Get in and out. Do the right thing and be done. That went left. Okay, so you see there's a temporary hole here. I'm just going to try to get within three feet of the hole, okay? Hearing this kind of thick stuff. In the summertime, this is really grown up. But I'm going to get within three feet and I'll call it a good. Okay, so I'll take you on this really quick little walk here. So you can see, this is a temporary hole because they're working on that green complex up there with the bunkers. So, temporary hole, you see right here. So there's no hole, but the flag's there. You want to get within like three feet of it, and you call it a day. So I'm just going to chip this there. Hit the pin, that's a three. That's how you play those holes. Don't be one of them people that like to walk around and drive on the cart, drive on the fairways when it's car path only. They have a hole they're working on. Let them do their work. It's gonna be better for everyone. Don't be selfish. You know what I mean? That's golf etiquette. Actually, that's just not being a dick is what that is. So listen to the rules, the local rules of your course. If no one listened, it's really hard to keep, you know, keep the courses in great shape. Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, kind of glad the microphone's not on me today. I'm having a hard time breathing. Again, just a little out of shape, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. This is what I'm talking about. See the green complex? See the bunkers? They're putting drainage in all along here. Putting really nice sand in. They have another bunker on the other side. No flag on the green. Play to the flag. It's just one hole. If it's multiple holes, the course will do the right thing and make sure they're not charging you full price for the course. Pretty simple, guys. Just follow some rules, man. Have some etiquette. Be sure you're doing the right thing. Last thing, like, I come out here, I told the guys in the clubhouse, today, man, if you get complaints about someone out there filming, it's me. They're like, cool, man, no problem. All good. So, 
like I said, it's not that hard to do the right thing. Just my thoughts. All right, number four, the bottom of par four, pretty much goes dead left. Uh, I'm gonna hit three trees up there. I'm gonna hit towards that third tree. This far tree on the far left. In the three iron here, we get up there. No thought process there. Go up and hit it. If I thought too much, probably would have came back smacking my teeth. That's a uh, nightmare of mine. Some hit my teeth and knocking them out. Playing like 103 into the wind. I'm going to hit a 52 degree wedge here. See if I can keep it below the hole. Is anywhere in the center of the green? Oh, it's on the green I'm putting. Alright, here we go. I'm about a foot and a half short of the green. I'm going to putt. Try to get up there close. This is for four. Didn't hit it. Give it a shot. Set the seven. You ever just feel like you're not doing anything right on the course? So that was a seven. I'm rushing for some reason. There's no one behind me. There's two guys in front of me. Maybe I need to change my music. Right now I'm listening to my playlist from my other podcast. I think I need to put on some, uh, I don't know, maybe some Joe Port in a radio. I got to figure out Pandora. It's not connecting for some reason. But anyway. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. Hopefully we will see a change. So, yeah, frustrated, but it's my own doing. Again, it's not, it's not the course. I'm taking, I have this sense of urgency. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna start all over right now see what I can do. This hole I can actually hit driver, so maybe that'll be the difference. Alright, par four. Got the up. Oh, cool. Not gonna lie. Just changed my music. Got some uh, country, uh, new country I guess it is. I'm gonna hit a little poke out here. Got my driver. Should be able to get up there. Wanted to start searching for some birdies. Be a little more aggressive. If I can uh, get this rolled up here close. If you caught that, I'm going to spill over. That's my ball. Landed right here and around that strap. 
they're my excitement. Maybe not up here. So I'm hitting four now. Yeah, I lost my ball. I don't know what happened. I, it was right in the middle of the. It was in the middle of the fairway. It went around the trap, but there's nothing around it. So. That's not terrible. I finished that hole there with a six. Should have been a five. Get a good second shot in there. Sorry, short memory, right? Go with the six, lost ball. Moving on to the next hole. Anyway, hey everyone, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. I'm like out here. Share this with people who you think might be interested. Um, again, I'm trying to grow this organically. I have a couple people I'm looking to do some collaborations with. They don't know yet, but I have an idea. And uh, we'll figure it out from there. But. And when that trap, it's not going to be great. But took advantage of that, uh, a little aggressive, and uh, see what happens. Right, I'm in the bunker. Completely hit that off the freaking hosel. Got scared out of the sand trap. Afraid I was gonna run it past. Hit one off the hosel. One into the trap, two out of the trap, three. That was a four putt up the hill, five in, moving along. Ah, shorted it. Maybe an eight iron. Eight iron probably would have been better. I think I hit an eight iron about 140 anyway. So on to the green. All right, I have a uh, birdie putt here. Let me give this a good run. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, but it's still cold out. Go a little left. So I got it. I gave it a pretty good run. Not a great run, but I got a three footer, four footer, or par. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know if the camera's right or not. So four. I had a birdie putt, par putt, and I ended up with a four. Not ideal. Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Tons of golf courses around here. It's actually a pretty great place to play golf. Great place to grow up playing golf. Um, you see they're kind of landlocked. It's a street over here. Pretty busy road, but uh, yeah, this is a good course. They, they put a lot of money into it. It used to be a trap, like a bad, you know, super discount. But uh, again, the club at Shannondale, uh, it's owned by a family who created a uh, one of the most amazing retirement communities up here. So uh, pretty interesting history. But uh, I'll link it in the description below. Par four, 372. Just at the beat. All right, not bad, looks like a pin high. 
this like pin high into the wind. Felt good. Felt like a good swing. Uh, let's see what happens when we get up there. Man, that was a 47. That was terrible. So par here is 35 on the front. What's it on the back? 35. Oh, this is a par 70. So I shot a 47. That's 12 over on the front nine here. That is terrible. However, hey, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Terrible. However, I want to end that off here. Uh, I think I got to come in again. Thank you everyone for watching. Really enjoying this. Uh, sorry for the wind noise, if there is. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, everyone. Bye.